What's up y'all, welcome back to the Super Cup Big Joe. Sorry I had to take a little break, I had to get my brain back in order. I hope everyone's doing good, or at least decent. I don't know what I'm gonna name this video yet. I'm gonna be talking about a few things, you'll obviously know when it's up, but I'm gonna be following up mainly on a video I did a while ago, struggling with a porn addiction. I think that was like my 10th video I made, but in that I talked about how porn affected me and my everyday life, how it made me view women, a lot of my female friends, my process as to how I was dealing with this type of addiction and where I'm at now, along with a few other things. It's been a while since I made that video and since I started this whole revamp. I'm hoping we're all somewhat mature. Again, it's gonna be following up to that video, but still kind of connected to all the other previous videos I made. If you're new or missed any of those videos, you can find them in the mental health recovery, my story playlist on my channel. If you like this video, find it helpful or insightful, please like, subscribe, even share, leave a comment down below, and let's just get talking. So recap, I had a strong porn addiction. It started when I was 11, but got out of control near the end of high school. Around that time is when my thoughts were rampant 24 seven. It's a normal thing, everyone does it, but I. I think I was masturbating a little too much. I was crazy stressed all the time with my thoughts, so I was doing it as a reliever, but I was stressed all the time, so I was doing it all the time. Whenever there was an opportunity, if my door was closed, I was bored, I had the access, I have a phone, I have the computer, the laptop, PS3, PS4. I have a better understanding to how the chemicals in my brain works, dopamine, serotonin. There are other things that make me happy, but this type of sensation was like my number one go-to. The amount of time I wasted trying to find like the perfect video or scrolling through Instagram. You've seen the meme, like how picky you are and whatever web page you're using you're on like page 120 i don't think i've ever gone that far but it'd really be like that i'd spend two three or four hours just browsing clearing my browsing history all the time i still do it today i'd always close my door not always for that purpose like sometimes i'd be working out or i'd just be crying <laughs> but because the door was closed that was my like oh the door's closed let's go i'd lock my cat in her cage in the living room because she freely roams around the place and can push doors open if it was around nighttime i'd pass out wake up the next morning morning and be like oh shit I forgot the cat my brother walked in on me in the bathroom there's one more thing I used to do all the time but that's where like the line is that's too embarrassing for me so I won't say anything about that I don't do it anymore but overall together with a few other elements I've talked about in previous videos this was a big problem for me tired forgetful I was losing stuff around the house I got lazy around the house though I did work three jobs at the time I was getting aggressive with my girlfriend at the time I was always expecting sexual favors whenever I did anything nice or like I was always trying to force myself onto her you know to initiate something i was always fantasizing and visualizing like my female friends in a way like i didn't like it wasn't really respectful and like i didn't like it so i had to cleanse my mind and change the way i thought i slowly started taking a break from everything i talked about it a little bit in the other video but it wasn't just porn i'm not gonna blame everything on that it was social media movies tv shows i watched wrestling back in the day rap and hip-hop video games anime comic books we've all been programmed to like certain things and act in a certain way as soon as we lay our eyes on a computer screen, phone screen, or like a magazine or something, it starts. Everything is over sexualized as if it's some type of agenda. I did a social media break and when I came back I blocked like so many different accounts. I avoid sites like World Star Hip Hop. When I was at work or at the gym, I legit just focused on my tasks <laughs> until I had to leave. I'm not gonna put up any pictures of what I'm about to describe. You can easily search and browse or you, you'll just know what I'm talking about. We're all mature here, but let's like let's be real. Disney, Pixar, DreamWorks, you think they don't know what they're doing? I know everyone Everyone's seen those memes and I'll tell you right now because I remember the day when me, my friend James, Jay, Jordan, and Kyle went to go see The Incredibles. I think this was like 16 years ago. I was somewhat aroused when Mrs. Incredible came on screen. That one scene where she's like in the, the hallway and the mirror and like one half gets stuck between the elevators and stuff. I know I'm not the only one. People who watch anime and read manga, you know how Japan gets down. Fan service, even hentai, wrestling in the early 2000s, the divas. Uh, <laughs> I remember they had like bra and panty matches in the video game too. Me and my friends used to play that shit all the time. Video games as well. Y'all ever play Mortal Kombat, Soul Calibur, Street Fighter, Tomb Raider, Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball, Dark Stalkers? Most of these are action games. Yep, they have the most unrealistic costume designs. You have your rated R comedy movies. There's always naked scenes, profanity. Everyone is shaking the goods in the music videos nowadays. Posting pictures and making TikToks and like revealing negligee. Rappers are telling me I'm supposed to be liking big booty bitches. I'm supposed to be beating it up like this. Girls supposed to be sucking it like <laughs> like what the fuck is going on? I've been given a template of what I'm supposed to like. Now me, I still care if you're pretty, smart, funny, or the basic stuff, but what was on my checklist? You either had big breasts, big butt with the hourglass figure, and white. Because since I could remember, that's what's been like 
put in my face. I remember when I was younger, my mom would always tell me not to bring a black girl home. She wanted mixed grandkids. All my black friends were dating white girls, so like I was pressured to like follow the trend. I paid little to no attention to black girls at all, unless they were like black celebrities. Girls have types too. They like the bad boy, shock looking guy. Guys with money, don't matter where it comes from. Big muscles, no brains, nice car. They want a Prince Charming character like from the Disney movies, but just in this society. So there can be a nice girl that comes up to me and tells me she likes me. Nothing wrong with her, but my head is already processing if she doesn't have this, this, or this, or like this. It's already like, no, like I'm not interested. A girl can turn away a guy with a heart of gold, but because he's short, it's a no-no. And then she goes for the six foot guy who like sells drugs, doesn't have a secure job, and is probably gonna break her heart in the future. It's not everyone, but that's why a lot of people are like beating themselves up, trying to modify their body to like match the description of this society's perfect male or female. Little do they know most men want expensive looking sex doll that looks like a porn star or a regular celebrity. And a female wants a six foot bachelor guy whose character is already built, dribbles a basketball, throws a football, plays hockey. That's most people's subconscious. They make things worse, you have these famous people promoting deviant, unrealistic fantasies and just plain toxic behavior. We're the role models for the newer generation. Everyone's always acting disgusted, shocked when they see younger people dress a certain way or talk a certain way, but fail to realize they're learning it from us. We're setting the example and we have to understand what we're doing. Everything's on the internet. Kids are getting phones as soon as they leave the womb. I was always exposed to light stuff like in TVs and movies, but I believe I was 10 when I got onto my first porn website. You think that are you 18 years of age page is going to stop a little kid from clicking yes? No. You think all these little girls on social media don't see what you older girls are doing and want to like be like you because they see how much attention you're getting? I know everyone wanted to boycott Netflix for the movie Cuties and didn't even watch the film. Like, oh, it was disgusting. Talking about pedophilia. It is. But there's an actual trafficking ring getting exposed right now, but people don't want to believe it or they don't even care. There's young people out there that really need help, but we're just too busy working, starting movements, making TikTok videos to go viral, drinking and partying. This is our normal. In the movie, though, there's a scene where the young girls are actually looking at a bunch of older girls on their phone. They're seeing the attention they're getting, so the reason why they're like dancing and doing all this stuff is because they see what I wouldn't call it respect, but like, yeah, just attention, but the attention they're getting, so they want to be like them. So in real life, when girls get on social media, make all these accounts, taking pictures, there's no real privacy, anybody can see it. Kids know how to hide stuff from their parents, but people that can find it are pedophiles. The girl doesn't have a lot of friends, family that like pay attention to her, big brothers watch after them, and if the girl is like dumb or just naive, she can get herself in trouble with some sick people if Chris Hansen or like a righteous stranger isn't around. So parents, make sure you show your kids love, educate them, be in their life, just keep an eye on them. So what happens when you stop watching porn, over-sexualizing everything? I started in April last year. I took a two month social media break as well. I still uninstall the main apps from time to time. But from that time, I was good for eight months. I had a hiccup period in December, January. And then since I made that one video, that was like in March, so another like six, seven, months now along with some other changes I made to the lifestyle I feel like I'm a better version of myself not everyone has a problem with porn I'm not saying like you should never masturbate ever again I'm just saying like you can still watch you know and have like a successful life no problem with your like love life but if it's a problem bugging your love life preventing you from doing stuff it becomes an obsession an addiction you can't get it up you know in bed because even though you love your girlfriend but in your head what gets you excited is that fake artificial specimen you like you have in your head you that you watch all the time. You shouldn't let it control you. So what happened with me, discipline, I'm in control. I'm not lustful to the point it stresses me out. The urge comes and goes, but again, I have like that willpower to override that thought. I have clear thoughts, double the free time, which is how I'm able to make all these videos. Before I was always paranoid with people looking at my phone, if they used the internet or went through the photo gallery. Now I don't care because I'm not really like hiding anything. I can leave my room with the computer on still and not worry about people looking in the history and stuff. I'm not worried about chasing women, money, I'm not worried about my appearance. I don't care what people think of me. I got a bigger picture in mind. Learning and researching new stuff every day. Eating healthy. I'm a nice person. I'm on a spiritual wavelength right now. I don't think I'm ever getting off. Not that I was rude before, but I feel like I'm more appreciative to like women beauty. I know beauty when I see it. A lot of people have it, even though they, they, they don't think they do. It's how they go about it, how they give that energy off. I'm trying to live an honest, helpful, beneficial lifestyle. Not just for me, but for everyone around me. Me taking care of myself helps others. I'm one less sick person in this world. I know how to take care of myself. I don't entertain any deviant stupidness. I care about this place so I'm not littering. I'm not rude even if someone tries to provoke me. I pay attention and listen to my body. I don't need anybody trying to tell me like how like my diet's bad or something like that. I know me. I don't have to listen to any of these so-called health experts.
Hearts because they're doing a fabulous job with this COVID situation. I know when something's up with me and I'll act accordingly. Then, till then, I'm good. I don't like animals being slaughtered, but I understand people think they can't live without me. They taste so good. So I'm not shaming people, but I'm also not contributing to it. I don't click on porn sites anymore because I know that fuels the industry. You may think it's innocent or harmless, fun and people expressing themselves, but the shit low-key promotes aggressive behavior, violence against women, and also supports sex trafficking. Do your research. But with all that, I just wanted to give you guys something to think about. If you think you got a problem, know somebody who got a problem. You gotta work on yourself. You gotta get on that. You gotta get disciplined. And I promise it's gonna improve your mental health. Don't just take my word for it. Go search it up and look at the benefits of like, you know, quitting porn or, you know, stop masturbating and all that stuff. A lot of those posts will tell you it helps with anxiety, depression. It's a lot of work you gotta, you gotta do, but don't give up. Just switch it up. Start watching videos with ordinary people, like, you know, sharing their stories and stuff. Give Cardi B, Meg Thee Stallion, and Nicki Minaj a fucking break. <laughs> they're not going to help you pass that test. They're not going to teach you how to cook. And they're definitely not going to give you any good relationship advice, all right? It's time to level up. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Feel free to comment. Be kind to one another. Take care of yourselves and send it out. And I will see you guys next time. The legend will never die.